home right now and I've decided to make my nail throne order with you. So I've needed to make this order for a bit, but I kept kind of, I'm not forgetting about it, just putting it off. Is that the Molly? It is. So I have my laptop and I am logged into the nail throne website. If I don't finish these rockets soon, I'm finishing them. They've got to go. They've got to go, like tonight. They have to be done. Also on a dangerous Diet Pepsi kick. I used to do that every once in a while with canned Diet Coke. Now it's canned Diet Pepsi. I don't know what's going on, but we're into rockets and canned Diet Pepsi. I've drank hardly no water today. Not sure what's up with that. Anyway, that is, I did not come on here to tell you all that. So let's get to the order. I'm going to do what I always do, which is, pardon the rockets, I'm just gonna add to cart. I'm gonna add to cart every single thing that I see that I want. Then I go through my cart with my little list that I have on my phone, and I'm gonna take out the things that I already have. I don't know how to screen record on this thing. I figured it out. No, I didn't, we're on my iPad. Let's go. Okay, so I'm all locked into my account, and the first thing I wanna talk about is the clear out section. So I know that looks um, really inviting, and it is. This is the Luminary product, which I don't actually need any of right now. Uh, I do have the Empower Matte Top Coat, I do use that a fair amount if that's something that is a refill bottle, if that's something that you're interested in. I don't know that there's um, the regular size bottle for you to fill, but I'm sure probably if you wanted it, you could probably figure something out. Let's go back to home. Weekly sales section updated every Friday. Okay, if we click Friday, Sales, excuse me, that's the rockets. We are in Canadian currency. It can be changed to US currency. Either way, it went back to Canadian, whatever, that's fine. Let's look through these. Some of these I think I already have. I need to dig them back out, use them a little bit. Treehouse looks really cool. Royal Prince, hmm. I don't think I have Royal Prince, but I do think I have a similar one. I don't think I have Unicorn Dazzle, but I have like some sort of tinsel. Sunkissed Orange looks nice. That would be really good for fall. Snow Bell, which is a multi-mix. So I don't mind the multi-mix. I do prefer the fine for when I'm using them on gel polishes. Now, I don't care which ones they are from chunky clear down to fine, including the multi-mix when I'm adding them with acrylic, but when I'm adding them on top of gel polish, I really do prefer the fine. But Snow Bell, do I have that? I'm not sure, we're adding it to cart. Slushy, fine. That is my favorite one. I love slushy. I already have it, <laughs> but I love it. I have that in like fine, medium, and chunky, I think, if I looked. Uh, Vivid Sapphire, hmm. but it's, I would say, sold out maybe. Vibrant Vibe, I believe I have both of those. Very pretty. Snowbell Chunky, Sunshine Medium, eh. Yvonne, that looks pretty. I have one similar. similar. Tealicious, sure, let's add to cart. Why not? Lotus Flower Dappin' Dish. I don't really need another Dappin' Dish, but those are. Very pretty. You're on hold. You're on hold. Do I have that one? I know I have Unforgettable. You're on hold. Ooh, I feel like I might have it. I'm adding it to cart. I will check. Okay, we'll go into Glitter Bells. I don't need any monomer. Colored acrylics, I don't do until after. Premix glitter acrylics for the same reason. Core powders, 
gel polish brush on builder brush on builder gel I have a clear one no I'll use through my clear one I do love the brush on builder gel by the way it has kept like these are messy looking right now I just checked one today I picked one the other day these have been on for four weeks this is just gel polish on my nails I put a layer of the brush on builder gel underneath kept really well essentials tips and brushes I always like looking through that that's where the like fun stuff is no wipe top coat add to cart base coat Ooh, add to cart I'll have to check uh, rubber top coat add to cart I always get those always get those uh, tips no I just don't use very many of them I have a few right now and that's lots um, ha let me tell you about my hollow no way top coat so I have hollow and I got is it called precious it's not on here I think it's called precious it's the gold version of it and I'm pretty sure I threw it out. Yep. Pretty sure I threw it out. Sorry. Gosh, I've been doing that all day. Uh, let's go to the Unbelievable Gels. Mardi Gras. I got that one. Blue Avenue. Sure, but I love a good blue. Hug me. Also not sure. Ooh, make a move. Do I have that one? Do I have that one? I think I do. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it though? Add to cart. Pretty perky. Don't know about that one. Fairy light. Not sure about that one. Spirit. Yeah, I think I have it. It's a fling. Spicy. I've used spicy a lot. Tea party. Such a sweetie. Don't know about that one. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. I think I have it. Fiesta. Dark Diva. Groovy Gray. I have those ones. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Hot shot and so hot. I have those both because I get them mixed up. Then let's go into gel polish. 43 products. Awesome. Pavlova, PG Pie, Diamond Mirage. It's out of stock right now. Highly recommend. There's kind of one I'm looking for. Hot stuff, that's it. I wanna make sure I get a look for mine and make sure that it's the one that's empty. Why am I yawning? I know why I'm yawning. I ate too much candy. Cocktail satin slippers, muted purple. I have these. Ocean smoke, mauve, mauve gray. Mm, don't know about that one. Fire and Oh, I'm glad that came up. Was it fire engine that I needed? Or was it the other one? Smoky plum. Rock chick. All right. Then let's go into pre-mixed glitter coat have been buying a lot of these 
because I have a lot of them and I haven't recently been using them. So I need to get back into using them and then I can better take stock of what I need. It's just been so long. Look at Glitter Bell. Ooh, you pretty. Jennifer's pretty too. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's been a minute since I've used them. So I need to dig into them. I know I have a lot of blues. I was on a blue kick, blue kick. I tend to buy the blues. Moon shadow, gorgeous. Starry night, gorgeous. But those are the colors I'm drawn to. So those are the colors that I already have four more of the same type. The crushes, love. Khaki smoke, look at that one. Spicy candy, beaut candy. There's another candy, baby candy. No, 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 queen candy. There's another, there's another candy one, I'm sure. Maybe I'm wrong, that I love. Okay, in Canadian dollars. I'm at $290 and I am going to go through those tomorrow and see what I need, what I don't need. I actually think I did pretty good with that one as far as not re-adding to cart a whole lot that I already have, but we will see and I will talk to you then. Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday at seven, oh, G-Hover. Wow, G-Hover. I just gave you guys the most New Brunswick swear word ever. Now you know. I, it's, I hope you can hear me over my e-file. It is at 7.17. I get up at five to be here at six to be ready for my appointment at seven on a Saturday morning and she no-showed. How do you proceed? As a nail tech, what are you doing here? Um, I do confirm the night before. My confirmation reads, I'll read it to you. And I know that stuff happens. I'm just literally asking, like how do you proceed personally in your salon? Please come in at your appointment time. No guests, please. Masks are optional and can be worn if you like. Cancellation policy is in full effect and available on my Facebook page. See you tomorrow at whatever time. Also, feel free to hijack that. Use it. Don't care. So how do you proceed with that? Where it's a Saturday considered by some to be more of a specialty day um, or a specialty appointment, especially at 7 a.m., do you charge full price? Do you charge half the price? How do you, how do you proceed with that? Um, also, do you require people to pay the fee before you will reschedule them? Now, to me, that is relative. I generally don't. I have yet to get, uh, I haven't recently gotten stung with that, but we are in a very small place. Chances are I know where the client works and or where they live. Like it's not, I've never had a problem with that. And I do prefer cash, so it does make it harder for clients to get in to pay. You know, I have a lot of clients that live 30, woo, 30 or 45 minutes away. So no, I'm not gonna ask them to drive in here and, and pay that in person. However, like I said, I've never had a problem. If I started having problems, probably then yes would. Go ahead and, and change that um, procedure, or change that policy. But anyway, just, out of curiosity, wondering how you guys proceed with that. You know, this has given me time to do my own nails. Fine. If you miss your nail appointment, you don't get your nails done. If you miss your nail appointment on my end, I could have had somebody else that was willing to show up and pay in that space. And I'm not here for fun. I, this is how I pay my bills. You know, that's, that's money out of my pocket. And it being cold and flu season, not that it's any one client's responsibility, obviously, but it being cold and flu season, there's a lot of cancellations happening right now, or there's the opportunity for a lot of cancellations to be happening right now. So not a cool time of year to no-show. So all of those things together, just curious what your go-to policy is or what horror stories you've had with your policy. Um, I'd be interested to know that too. And I have clients that also move appointments around. Like sometimes I have two or three clients uh, right off the top of my head, maybe more that will message me the day of their appointment or the day before when I message them the confirmation. And they will say, if you have anything earlier, I'm available. And what they mean by that is if I have anything oh, earlier, they'll take it. And then maybe I can go home earlier. Maybe I can switch my lunch. Maybe I can, I don't know, whatever. But I really enjoy that because that means both of us 
get what we want, so to speak, just a minute. You know, that being said, these clients, sorry, these clients that are messaging and saying, do you have anything earlier? Or if you have anything earlier, I'm available. They're still coming at their appointment time. If I message them and say, no, I don't, then they're like, okay, I'll see you at whatever time. So anyway, that's my little 7 a.m. rant. I do really wish this hadn't happened because we're getting into, like, I don't want to say we're getting into the holidays, but we're getting into the holidays. <laughs> and we're getting into, I find after the November 11th holiday, especially um, if it interferes with my work week. And I say that because I'm off on Mondays. So if it's on a Monday, I don't take Tuesday. Like, it's just, it's just not how it works. We're self-employed, or for me, it's not how it works. If it affects my work week, which of course this year it does, it tends to jam that week up, and then that just tends to snowball into the Christmas season. Anyway, I just have a lot of questions and curiosities about all that this morning, since I'm in the thick of it. I might sign off here and give you guys a little, a little bit of weekend fun footage. Hopefully, it's going to be a nice day. I think it is. And I'll see you guys next week.